what's going on guys Bobby here and today we have another great video for you guys so I know I've been doing a lot of these lately and I like to switch up my channel I like to have a lot of live gameplays like I'm doing right now and I like to have a lot of pro gameplays now unfortunately um, the last pro gameplay I updated or uh, uploaded was like a week ago or something and that was the PBL games I usually like to do two or three a week but I didn't have a recording of the NA open because right after that I had a scrimmage and like a couple practices and I totally forgot to record the gameplay. So anyways, I again, apologize. And today I'm actually supposed to have PBL, but I'm pretty sure the opponents are actually gonna forfeit. So again, we're not gonna have any pro pro gameplay on an eSport level showed for you guys, but hopefully we will get some soon. Um, so what we're gonna be doing today, you guys have seen this type of video before, it's just us going into pinball dreams with Rico. Literally the best map for Rico in the game and just absolutely destroying. Now obviously it's gonna be live, so I'm not just gonna say we're gonna destroy every single game, but that is the plan. Now quick shout outs to Tooney and Jake, as you guys can see by their absolute insane spam. Go follow their Twitters, they're, you know, they're on top, you guys don't need a link or anything, you can read the screen. But without further ado, let's hop into the first game. Okay, so let's hop into the first game here. Now we're going to be facing a Crow, a Poco, and a Spike. So it's kind of a little bit annoying for a Rico because what you want to face is a Rico is someone who doesn't have a lot of range. It's like a Primo or a Frank, so you just absolutely destroy them from range. But we could try and do our thing against this comp over here. So we're actually going to have a Poco batted into us. And if we didn't get that kill, sorry for that little notification noise you guys just heard. It's just a Twitch thing in the background every time someone follows, even though I'm not on Twitch right now. Now, anyways, you like to keep your distance, so when you're facing someone who has distance, obviously, or range I should be saying, not distance, it's a little bit tough. But anyways, we're going to try and do our thing, so we're able to take out the Poco, and we had a pretty good super there on that spike, that spike is probably one shot, probably has a little less than 1000 health. But anyways, Jigsaw is going to go in, he is going to die, I think Toonie is going to be able to get a kill. Okay, Jig actually had a bubble that got a kill at the end there. Hopefully we can get a bounce. Okay, we weren't able to, but Toonie's Bear was able to collect that kill. Um, we're going to see if we can just clear out this area over here. We're going to be able to get the Crow and the Spike. And Toonie should be able to just walk it in from there. He is going to. And it's going to give us the one to nothing lead. Now there's about halfway left in the game. That was actually a really good bubble right off the spawn. Wow, I actually got three hits. Okay. So a super, super effective bubble. We're able to take out the Poco. We're just gonna walk up this side over here. I can't walk too far up or we're going to get Spike supered. Just gonna throw this over here, try and be able to get the Spike. I wasn't able to do it because of a really good Poco heal, but I was able to get that Crow and get my super back and we're probably just gonna be able to get those kills. Jig with the super, Toonie's gonna pass that off to Jig and I don't really know what he's doing, but it looks like it is gonna be a goal and that is going to wrap up the first game. So pretty good so far. Um, these guys, you know, I don't really see them on ladder too much, but I've seen their names around, you know, they're not bad players, but hopefully we can face some tanks or something and we can absolutely destroy some people. With that being said, let's hop into the second game. Okay, so here we go into the second game, and these are actually three really, really solid players. Um, United King and Tan, really good, so this will be a tougher game for sure. They actually beat us earlier, like an hour ago when I was playing with Patchy and Second. Uh, but let's see what we got going on over here. So Jig is kind of just chilling. I got a little bit too close to Tan over there. We're going to be able to get a good clip on King, so he's not going to be able to go aggro on us. He's giving us a little bit of a spin because, you know... We are friends that were probably not... I thought we were going to be able to take out King. We actually weren't able to. Okay, so they're in a really good spot right here. I'd actually be shocked if they didn't get a goal. Jigsaw a little bit too aggressive with that BB swing. and is actually not going to be able to get any knockback whatsoever. Uh, they're going to get a bear on us. So this is going to be super, super difficult for us. They actually did mess up their shot though. I am probably going to die over here. Only if Toonie can hit. Oh, close, but they do get the first goal. Now let's see what we can do here. Jig is trying to switch sides with Toonie. Good playing by United so far. I haven't been able to hit him. Okay, so Jig is going to go down, but he's actually going to trade thanks to that ball. Now United did get hit once due to the ball, so this could help us. Tan is going to get pushed back due to that bear, so we could go into a more aggro position here. That wall isn't really too great for the bounce on that shot, so we're not going to go for it. We're probably going to try and take out this bear over here. Although they are in a pretty good position for me, just because they're near a wall, so I probably should just go aggro. 
on the players instead of go for the bear. We are able to take out Tan. We're going to pass the ball up to Toonie. Toonie's taking his time as he should. Going to get a super off. King's in a really bad spot. We're going to be able to take out King. I'm going to want to pass the ball to one of these guys just because they have a ton more HP than I do. And Jig is just going to be able to walk that ball in the net. So 1-1 one, one over here. Really good game so far. 30 seconds left. See what we can do. So we're going to get out of the way of that super. So we get a decent super over there by Jig. Good job by him. He got the first knockback. We're going to go for Tan over here. Okay, that was a little bit of a mess of a super. We're going to help out Toonie so he doesn't get pushed back too far. We're going to try and get some shots on King. We did get a good amount off. We don't want to get super too hard here by United. Okay, we got King low. We probably should be able to kill King. Okay, we were able to get him. Oh, we're going to get full clip. I juked the wrong way, but luckily we were able to get them low enough to where they're not able to get the ball. You're going to see Jigsaw come the le out of the uh, net here. He should be going for the ball. I don't really know where he's going, to be honest. United's going to go for the off-screen super. Uh, off -screen super. He's not going to have any luck with it, though. We're whiffing a lot here on, uh, on Tan. We're going to see if we can get King over here since he's pretty low already. Okay, we are able to get him, so we can build our way back up. Good try with the super over there. Tan is pretty one-shot. Jigsaw does have the ball. We're going to get a super going over here. We're going to get a kill. We're going to go for King. We're also going to be able to pick that up. And we're going to be able to get Tan. So we did get the team wipe. And that's going to be a really, really, really good game. Really thankful I got that on video. And that is going to be a second win. So although they're low in trophies, or, or well, they're not that low. But specifically, Tan is not 500. He has had the game for like two years now, and he's a really good player. I used to play with him all the time. So, you know, GG to them. That one was really good. Let's hop into the third one. Okay, so here we go, hopping into the third game. And finally, we're facing a tank. So we're playing Raven of 8, who is actually a pro player for Hammers. Uh, Jigsaw isn't moving, typical Jigsaw. Uh, and we are on Brawl TV. We're getting about 830 right now. Jigsaw trying to switch sides, you know. Jigsaw always likes to go for the easy matchup. He doesn't really like going for those hard ones. Typical Jig. But anyways, he is going to go down even when he does have the favored matchup. Poor Jigsaw. So we're going to try and kind of keep them back. Even though it's like a three on two and I have to keep back both lanes. Toonie's doing a really, really good job holding back his lane. Jigsaw's just getting melted over here. Uh, we're trying to stay away from that Frank. Jig does have his knockback. He's going to miss it on the Frank. But he is going to pick up the ball and he should be able to score. Yeah, so Jig will be able to get the goal. So at least he was able to put the ball in the net. And that's going to give us an early 1 to nothing lead. So we're going to see Jig on the Frank again. Just going to take this out and try and get the Jesse with it. I don't think we hit the Jesse too much, but we were able to get it, get him low enough to where he isn't just spamming the turret. As well as, you know, the turret has been taken out, so that's obviously really good. Uh, we do have a Frank on our, say, on our net, I should say. I almost said safe. So Raven's going to try and go from below. We're going to be able to get that steal and just pass it out. Nothing more we could have done over there. Just had to play really patiently with it. 900 spectators on Brawl TV. Not bad. Just got caught in the net for a second. So Jig just got a kill up on the map. Another kill by Jig. Okay, so Jig's kind of going in. It looks like they're doing really good. Toonie's going to be able to get that kill. Again, sorry for the noise. Uh, Jig was spamming auto aim, so the ball is not going to go in the net. Um, if he took a little bit longer and if he had a little bit of patience, probably would have scored. Toonie's lining up a shot. He's going to miss. Jig has the ball. He's spamming auto aim. We have no clue what's happening. I don't know why I aimed that shot there. He's going to get the ball. I'm going to give it to Toonie. I'm going to let Toonie score. There you go, and Toonie is going to get the goal, and that is going to end the third game. So that third game was a little bit of a mess. Uh, mostly just watching Jig make some really good plays and then some really, really bad plays, so that was a little bit funny. But we're going to hop into our fourth and final game, and we're going to see if we can go a solid 4-0 on the day. Okay, so here we go into our fourth and final game. And we're going to be facing a Colt, a Mortis, and a Shelly. So this is going to be a little bit of a tough one. But I think we have good possession so far. So we're going to pick up the ball. We're going to give it to Jig. Jig should have a pretty easy goal. He's going to go for a trick shot. And he's going to fail pretty miserably. 
Uh, that actually is going to be a really good bubble. So it's just going to go back and forth in front of the net. So actually really good super over there by Jigsaw. So a really quick goal by us. Jigsaw is going to go for that other super again. We're going to go for that more. Uh, we're not going to be able to finish him off, but we're going to be able to get him really low. He's going to super pass that one on to Lil Jiggy. And he's going to be able, eventually, going to pass it to me. Going to pass it back. And he's going to be able to get that goal. So that one was a little bit too quick. We'll play one more game. Um, just so we can get one more because you know that was only 45 seconds, but anyways, let's get into it Okay, so here we go into the fifth and final match and again, we're facing King but this time with a different team uh, I'm pretty sure he's playing with a lit and hazard. Yeah, so two other amazingly high skilled players so This is again gonna be tough um, Jig does have a very easy matchup since he's BB and he has that high speed against Mike. Uh, it's like basically a free win for him. He's going to be able to get the kill. All three of us have won our lanes within 20 seconds. Jig is going to give a fat BM. He's going to put that ball in the net. So right here, we're just going to be trying to mirror exactly what we did the last time. I'm going to probably try and use this wall and get a double. I wasn't able to do so, but a lit is one shot. Okay, Jig's Ball is actually going to get a kill on a lit. Very good there. Jig put it on a lot of pressure. We're going to give him that ball. We're going to miss a couple shots over here on Hazard, but it shouldn't mean that much. As Jig is going to just have a little bit of a BM shot, put it in the net. And again, a 45 second match, but that one is going to do it. So GG's to King, Alit, Hazard, and everyone we faced. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video today. Um, you guys know I love playing Rico, and I apologize that there hasn't been too much really competitive gameplay as of late. But that's just because there hasn't been many uh, tourneys that I could have recorded. And again, I, again, I did have that one blunder where I forgot to, re to record the gameplay. So I apologize. But anyways, it's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the vid. And if you guys want to recommend something to me, because again, I want to do what you guys want to see. So recommend what you guys want to see down below. That's going to be it. I'll be back tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching. Peace.